So far all I did was remove the front part of the dash. This right here. With four bolts. There's one, two, three, four. Next I'm going to re I remove this bolt and this bolt to take this duck out. It just comes right out. Next I'm going to remove this bolt and these two bolts to take this box out. Next I'm going to remove this bolt, not the silver one, but that one and that one. Right there at the black one. Then I'm going to come over here and remove that black one and that black one. Next, I'm going to put my foot on the brake, turn the ignition over, take this down, you just wiggle this, it'll come right out. Uh, let's see. And this just plugs in in the back. The back and part. This is your shifter. See that wire? That goes to your shifter. For your dash. And mine never worked. We'll see if we can't fix that. So the problem that I was having was I've got a couple blown lights in this. We'll check it out. Let you know what it is. Alright, let me show you where we're at. I took out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bolts. Like this. And these bolts were 5.5 .5 millimeters heads on them. Take that off. Then next you'll take out another bolt just like that right here. Leave these two in and just wiggle this and it'll come up. What I'm going to do inside here is, you see I've got some blown bulbs. I'm going to go ahead and change them bulbs. Change them bulbs. I'm going to go ahead and change those bulbs. And then I'm going to take something to clean these posts right here. And I'm going to look down inside here and see what's going on I may be able to just clean it up it may just have some dirt or something in there because all it does for real just takes a couple wax on the dash sometimes it takes more than that and it will get it back going so that's where we're at okay use my my meter and check the bulbs that were kind of iffy and I, I got all those changed there's four of them uh, actually that right there looks like it's blown but I don't have another one to go in it. Uh, they were like $4.99 for two of them so so what I did right here is I, I cleaned these off with real fine sandpaper and then I came inside here with where are we at with this and I just took and Push these up, just bend them out just a little bit, or actually bend them in, See, that? I'm just bending it in, so maybe it'll make better contact. Okay, when you put this back on, just take and push it in, that locks everything in, because every one of these uh, is your gauges somewhere or another on there, and look, that one's missing. Where does that go to? That goes to my uh, temperature gauge. So that one may not be reading right. But when you put this back in, put this one screw in first. And once you get that one in, go put your back cover back on and go ahead and replace all your other screws and just snug them down don't over tighten them
Okay, to put this to put this instrument panel back in, you want to lower your steering wheel, turn your ignition over to where everything's unlocked, but don't crank it. Pull it down in low. Uh, I got to looking at this where it says park and drive and all that, and it's it's not working. It's spring loaded, and the springs it must be shot inside there. So just put this up here, line everything up. And then just push it into place. All the gauges just came on. I'm um, ready to go. I'm gonna put that back in park. I'm gonna use a seven millimeter socket. First, I'm gonna put this one in. Turn the ignition back off. Put that one in. side two on the other side excuse me so you pretty much just want to put it back the way you took it apart and that is it the main thing is when you're taking it in and out put it down in low Drop your steering wheel down, and you should be able to get it in and out pretty easy. Pretty easy. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you out. I searched the internet over, couldn't find a video on how to take this instrument panel off and replace the bulb. So, if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, the notica notification bell, and stay tuned for more videos to come. Y'all have a good one now, and you come back.